Hi there, this is Galen Martling. I am here sharing a loose watercolor technique using vintage stamps by Unity Stamp Company and also a die by Unity. The name of the stamp is called Soul Mail and the die is postage stamp nesting dies. And so I use the sentiment and cut it up just so I could add it later on. And that's the die I use. I thought this went well with the male theme of the card or of the stamping. And so this was stamped on watercolor paper. I layered all the stamps. I put the script down there and put and stamp the vase with the flower over top. And this stamp set comes with uh, stamp images that you can just layer right on top of anything you want. In this case, I just layered four of them on top of the scripty text there. I added a layer of gray watercolor and then heat set that. I just wanted something to ground everything. And so I used gray there. And I'm using alt new watercolor to just uh, lightly add very light vintage style watercolor. And so I'm adding the vase water and a little bit of leaves and teal and um, this flower I wanted to be red and also the accent buds there in the background and so I just use a very narrow paintbrush you can use a water brush as well um, I wanted to just gently add color and then let it set for a little bit and then blend it out and this background is also going to be covered in watercolor as well. So I'm not too concerned about it because the watercolor blending, I'm going to use a couple of different colors to just um, have more of a light vintage muted watercolor background. So I'm not too concerned about having all of the watercolor just perfect in this. And so um, if you have any overage, you can generally sometimes, if the watercolor is still wet, you can use a brush to try to remove some of it. And if not, you can just correct it later. I just went ahead and blended out the excess color into that background because you'll see later that will just blend in with the colors I'm gonna use for the background. And then I wanted all of that to be heat set before I added background watercolor. So I, I dabbed a little water into the background and then I picked up very light pink, the lightest pink in this, in this set and I blended around just not solidly, just sort of messy watercolor all on the background. And then I'm going to add a second color, which is more of a light blue teal as well kind of mixing the areas where that is. And again, I'm using a wet watercolor brush for this so that it it blends nicely in the background. And to make it softer, I added a little more water to make it even more muted. It's however you like your backgrounds. I like the softness of the stamping, so I wanted to keep the color soft. It's all just a preference that is your choice. And so I went ahead and after I finished the background, it looks like I'm adding a little bit more color to this flower. Sometimes when watercolor dries, it fades a little. I felt like I wanted it a little brighter, this, this rose flower. So I added some more there at the end and then heat set everything. I put um, some foam tape on the background of this panel so that it would pop up. And I chose to use a gray cardstock um, card base. I like, I think the gray uh, goes well with the vintage look and the stamping and the gray watercolor. Now, these trimmed words, I wanted to take this one sentiment and cut it up. I placed narrow foam tape behind those words to finish the card. There you go, it's so pretty and it's very soft. I hope you like this and give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. Have a great day.